Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sims 4 video. Vi oh boy. Sims 4 video speed build Sunday. <laughs> Great start. I'm at, I think it's called Twin Oracle Peak. Because I didn't know how big this house was going to be and it is nothing spectacular. I made an attempt at these circular walls. Don't like them. Don't care for them. And what I wanted to do was those cool, we have a few in Detroit, and I know you've seen some in New York City shots, those buildings that are very narrow on the corner and then they kind of expand out as they get into the block. And you can't do that with this game. Figures. So I gave up on the circular walls, I hope you don't mind. If I was better at terraforming, lifting and lowering the ground without completely mucking it up. I would probably use those curved walls as like fencing. I think that would look neat and very art deco. I just don't know how to do it. I'd have to practice really hard and long <laughs> forever. So I ended up making a smaller home on a huge lot. But I'm not unhappy with the way it turned out and I certainly hope you guys won't be either. See that's my second complaint with those circular walls is you can only use a few windows and the placement of those windows doesn't make me happy. So yeah. anyway I started this two days ago and interruption after interruption after interruption means for a very short build video and then I had to wait a whole day just to get the walkthrough video <laughs> that's why you start on Friday and you upload on Sunday and I don't know when it's going to be uploaded on Sunday so I'll apologize for that as well but I do do speed build Sunday just for something to do while I'm trying to think well now what am I gonna do next if you feel like telling me what you'd like to see, I'd be more than happy to hear from you. You're welcome to leave those comments below. What do you think I should do or maybe try to do? <laughs> I, that, would, that would be great. I couldn't figure out how to get this done. I think I had it right the first time and then I just lost it. But I figured it out at the end so everything's okay. How is everybody doing? Well, I hope. How'd your weekend go? It's very damp and dreary here, but by dreary, I just mean gray and overcast, rainy, on and off. I don't mind days like that. I actually prefer them because while they do give me a few, how would you say, pains and aches and glaring sunlight kills me even more because I can't deal with migraines. I just can't and I will always get a migraine especially an eye migraine on a super sunny day so I prefer the overcast it's not as painful <laughs> it's not there's not much of a glare and I have a few other medical conditions I won't discuss them because I think that's gross when people do that but that's just me I know I probably sound extremely prudish to a lot of people but strangely enough, if somebody has an ailment and they're suffering, I want to hear about it and I want to try and help. But I cannot talk about my own. Just leave me alone. I'll be fine. The placement of these stairs is dumb as well. But I don't want to go too much into the build. It's not that big of a deal. When all is said and done, it ended up costing 203,034 simoleons. So it's not a cheap house. I used high end items. And probably about as many packs as I do on a normal build. So there's that. But it was a fun house. It was a very interesting house. I hope I did things a little bit different than I normally do. It's a beautiful shot. This is a new crest, by the way. There's the house. Lots of fancy features. Whirlpool tubs. 
fountains pool and I gave them a lot of privacy on the side where you would build another house I always like to do that the thing is with this lot in particular it's weird it's very weird but it's very me I always feel guilty blocking the view <laughs> for the homes across the street it's like they build on Avarice Acres because there's a beautiful little pond there across the street and then the neighbor across the street builds this massive mansion and they can't even see the water anymore. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> so I try to shift the house as best I can and it never works. I'm in the habit of building two-story homes. Don't know that I prefer them, but I understand that for a lot of people who play the game, two stories isn't fun. When you send them off to bed, you got to go up and then the next morning you got to go back down and up and down and up and down. It, it gets a little tedious. So a few of my builds do have a first floor bedroom and a first floor full bath to avoid that situation. But this is just a speed build. You guys who take it off the gallery. And by the way, thank you. If any of you are watching my videos, thank you so much. I'm getting so much traffic on the gallery it's amazing to me the last speed build that I uploaded to the gallery I had 21 uploads within an hour of it being there and that just oh it just tickles me pink but I don't want to get hung up on stuff like that I think it's detrimental and ridiculous so but at the same time I'm thrilled very tiny kitchen I didn't I honestly don't think you need that much in this game I mean if you were living in a real house sure you'd want a very extravagant kitchen I'm sure you would I now I made mistake with those two planter lights I will fix that I take them down before it goes up on the gallery but that light that chandelier up there that was the only spot I could put it in if I tried to move it forward it went down to the first floor because of the circular wall. I had to manipulate that table just to get it in that corner. So you see, while having rounded walls is a cool feature, they never tweak these features. They just throw them out there and say, you guys deal with it, we're moving on. And I think that's very rude, but that's just my opinion. I'm obsessed with mirrors at the moment. I don't know why. Well. To be honest with you, there were quite a few homes that I went into. There was always a mirror on a landing. I don't know why, but there was. So this would be like the main master bedroom. I think I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh dear. Okay, we're going to have to edit that out. Sorry about that. Uh, by the way, I had finished the first floor. I went outside, I spent way too much time on landscaping and getting a professional garden installed. And I took hours going through debug looking for every single specific plant that would bring in the most money. And I kept going into live mode so that he could plant them all. And that toilet I thought was broken, but apparently it just does that. <sighs> I just put it in because it's blue and expensive. but. Anyway, I did all that. I was just about ready to click the upstairs button and the power went out here. Not even for five seconds. It snapped off and then it came right back on. And guess who doesn't normally save? I lost everything. I had to start all over again. Now, here is embarrassing. I remembered to change the light color and when I did, I changed like one light and I just said for the whole room. And from the distance I was looking at, I'm like, oh, that doesn't look too bad until I came in here. And I'm like, this looks horrific. This is horrendous. So they're all like a lime green color. I'm sure if you downloaded it, you would change that immediately or get rid of the lights altogether. I didn't do too much of the color wheel this time, but I did inject color into the build. So I always tend to exterior muted interior crazy. That 
might get old real quick. I'll have to think about different ways. But I am always been in love with color. And I think it's important to put it in a home that you want to live in and relax in and enjoy. So that's why I'm doing it. I don't mind it. The, what I do mind is the sameness. It's making me very nervous. I'm like, gosh, is this another one of those houses I've already built? Very scary. But at the same time, it, I don't know that it looks too bad. I keep touching my um, the arms of my chair and I'm trying to find a place for my hands because I'm a hand talker. So I'm sorry, you're going to hear that while I'm talking and I apologize. So this is what I came up with after the power went out. I just couldn't not bring myself to go back into debug and do all that searching again. So you have the ability to make a nice garden, but I was thinking about it afterwards. You could also turn that into a place where you want to put your expensive like gym equipment or something so that it doesn't get struck by lightning. That would be a good idea too, but I wanted it open. This is such a beautiful area of Newcrest. I can't imagine anybody who would live here wanting to block an inch of it off, except for maybe the street, but there's a, a lovely little streetcar that goes by as well. I'd want to see that too. I hope that that pergola over the gate is workable. I'm not sure, but I really like the pergola effect. I think it's it, it suits this place. Now that sauna spa, I, what is it called? It works. He went in there and I put up a video yesterday of him. <laughs> Shame on him. I sent him in there just to make sure it worked. It did. He went into the house and I said, well, go jogging, hon. Get some exercise. And he came walking out of the house stark naked, jogged all over the neighborhood naked in front of all these ladies walking by. And the minute he gets back into the thing here, he switches over to his clothes. Bad boy. Coming up on the end, I hope you like this. And I hope you enjoyed the video as well. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you did. And subscribe if you're interested. That would help me out a lot. Trying to get a good angle here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Take very good care of yourselves as well. And have an absolutely fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.